Save file two. Um. All right. So this game is kind of soul like. Is what I remember. Um, the last time I did this, I did I went with brawling. The camera's in the way. Let's fix that. Hopefully this is not in the way. I don't remember where any of the HUDs are. So we're, we're gonna move around the camera a few few times. Um, last time I played through this I started with brawling. Because I was like, that sounds good. It's Dark Souls. We, we start with um, uh, basically knights. But uh, I think I want to go Dexy this time. Select magic type. Uh, increases magic recovery. Oh, brawling will. Okay, the prayer will increase our health regen. Rage surrounding force that gives more damage attack power and removes energy restrictions. I liked that one. I, I don't know much about this game. Let's go deception. Uh, rogue set. Yeah, we started with uh, a set of warrior. Um, here's the thing. That's really fucking heavy. Oh, okay. We're 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 gonna do a rogue. We're gonna try this out. See how it, how we how we feel about it. Next hint. Some of the weapons are so heavy that it's impossible to use them one-handed. Each boss fight can be won in a special way. You will know by having unique loot. Loading hints. Heavy attacks. Just like fast ones can be chained. That's all I read before it went away. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. It's not very loud now. My vow. My vow of defiance. This is um Lords of the Fallen. Welcome back, Humble. The sound is terrible. Yeah, it's not up very high. I'll fix it. I see you've heard me. It's okay, Amu. It's not really my type of game. Different time, a different war. The monastery's ahead. I wonder if it's still safe. <coughs> Either way, 
Our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. I got a dagger. I understand, I'll move. Fighting a rogar is quite a challenge. To learn basics, approach the marauder ahead of you using... Okay, we got tutorial. This is a little bit of a hand-holding tutorial. Um, controller. Is not responding. What? <laughs> um, excuse me. This looks like Blood Knight in 3D. It's a, it's a bit different. Oh, you, you know, I probably have to um, click on the game. There we go. Alright, first things first. Let's turn this up, I guess. Basics. Can I uh, target you? What were all the buttons again? <laughs> um, excuse me. I got a whole bunch of stuff. We have the DLC. Oh, we've already died. <laughs> I forgot how this game works. It's quite a bit different. There's basically no platforming. Uh, would like a better weapon. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, hi, friend. Oh, it canceled my health pot. We're still quite heavy. Ow. Ow. Nope, stop. Curtis Death 1. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically Souls like. Um, which is why I tried it out. And then I wasn't very impressed with the game in general. But well we'll we'll tr we'll we'll give it another try. We died again. Uh we need a better weapon. We have some DLC weapons, we're gonna just take a look at those. We can dual wield smaller weapons. Oh, we. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. We can't look at our menu yet. Oh, I forgot energy management. There we go. We've been trying to backstab this entire time. Oh, Jesus. Did it. <laughs> Alright, heavy attack. 
back. I found it. It's not the button I thought it was. It has some souls look, but does it? It does it have souls feel? Um, not really. Not, not really. Uh, we need a finesse weapon. Hmm. Toggle details. This is basically the same, but sure, we'll wear that. And it's got this weird thing going on here. There's some heavy armor. We don't really want the heavy armor, we want light armor. We have all of these things. Well, one of the things that I noticed right away about this game is even though we're set up super light, this is like a medium roll, Dark Souls medium roll. We are right now the lightest we can be. All right, talk to this dude. Oh, there's a thing there. All right. Uh, talk to this dude first. It's locked. It's locked. You're still losing blood, Kaslo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. Oh, I forget how snarky these people are. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? How is He's this the sound? leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. Yeah, he does look like Kratos. Are there any survivors? So far, I've seen only corpses. No survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. How do we find him? The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. What is on my screen? But how do there we open the door? There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps, or a key. I have a quest. Find the key. We need to find a way to get to the other side. All right. Um, this is an interesting uh, inclusion in the game. These are lore scrolls, basically. These things keep coming. We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. It burned. And it burns deeper into me. Found a door. Um... The audio mixing got weird there. All right, the house though. I mean, we can just turn this up a lot. I'll just turn the effects down. And probably the music. And just leave the voice up higher. Okay. <laughs> Juggles the dagger. Oh, I'm missing one already. Oh. These things keep coming. Is that better? We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. 
smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. It burned, and it burns deeper into me. Yeah, there, there it has like a reverb on all of the voices. So that that's just something you're gonna have to deal with. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I don't personally like it. Killed it. It also has this weird, like, shaky cam thing that I don't really love. Uh, no, you. Um, let's go back down into the corner down here. Could you? Camera. Thank you. I'll figure out where I want my, my face to be. Um, right. I wanted to look at... Strength requirement. Oh, right. Okay, cool. I want a fast weapon. I don't want to be stuck with daggers, but it kind of looks like we're stuck with daggers. What happened to my character model there? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see it. I also feel like the game is a little over dark. Yeah, when you uh, equip things, it, it like resets the character physics on the preview. Oh, hi, you have a large axe. I don't like it. More lore. It is in me, and it is changing me. My skull. The bones are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins, more like liquid darkness. We have seen with others what happens next. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother William, Brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. We will choose death before it chooses us. It's a very dark story. <laughs> Everything about this is not not happy or fun. I mean, it feels like it runs on a similar engine to Dark Souls. Like a lot of the the button combinations are exactly like Dark Souls. Like uh, the roll button is the same. this. Um, I think one of the biggest differences you just you feel very heavy. No matter what you're wearing apparently. Can I hit the books? No. Uh, the thing I just got was an empty bottle. Uh, the empty bottle, uh, when I go and find this equi their equivalent to a bonfire, I will have one more health flask. Hey, Grey Wolf. Welcome. We just started some uh, Lords of the Fallen. 
Uh, speaking of, is there a save point out here? Oh god, let's not die. I think we'll have to start everything over if we die. So let's not do that. He's back here. No. It's fine. You haven't played this game in ages? Me either. I tried it out with a warrior uh, a while ago. We didn't stream it. But now we're here. I forget how... How do I dual wield the daggers? How do I, I change it? There we go. Weird keybind for that. Ow. We're just gonna go straight aggressive. Nah. Break everything! Sometimes there's things hiding behind things. Oh, hi. Dear Father, More the fires on the horizon, they are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something evil is happening. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here, in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please be safe. Hi, friend. We have another uh, one of these dudes. I can't see. <laughs> Damn it. Thanks. How is the lighting in the game, guys? Is it way too dark? Can you see anything right now? It's visible so far? Okay. Because I'm looking over at my second monitor, which I have no control over the contrast, and I can't see anything on the video game. So I thought I would ask. Alright, I know what this is, but it's not active for some reason. Um, let's check the other way first. Turn to our friend. Oh, nice. Found a friend. Still haven't found a save point. I've found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. I could use some help. Here, yeah, this might be useful. Did he give me a thing? I found a key. What are you? 
Open the door, man. Alright. Here we go. Wait, where's the first save point? Super bad game. Um, the issue... The issue for me was that it's pretty... It has like an empty, like a hollow plot. We're, we're playing a... A dude... He was released from prison to uh, help try and do something in the world. We're not a great guy. <laughs> uh. Ow. I don't know. We're just this sh shitty guy. It's basically his story. Can I backstab you? That would be uh, very helpful. Ow! What a jerk. Yeah, well, it the weapon is a, a DLC weapon that we're using. It does basically the exact same amount of damage as our starter weapon. It's not a great DLC weapon. Did one damage there. That oh, he got me. Okay. All right, this shit is getting real now. Did he get faster? Yeah, he did. Just a pain in the ass. Really? I thought I didn't have to roll. I was wrong. Ow. It's interesting to watch people die a lot. I, I just- I didn't enjoy the plotline in this game because it just- it felt very empty. I mean, maybe it improves. We'll find out. We'll find out together, guys.
Wait, when did I lose so much? Not complaining. I like this, the dynamic fights though. Cause, look at this fucking shit, now he doesn't even have a shield, so he's turning into the whirlwind man. No, you, you, you do that all the way over there. That pirouette though, super good. Can we use his sword? Just the way it... What was that? One of those lords Kazna keeps talking about. We get his his sword. Uh, it's not very good for us because it's a strength weapon. But yeah, we get it. We we got his sword. It has an empty socket on it. Also, the flavor text. The flavor text. There's flavor text on the on the sword. The Rogar are said to be fierce opponents, and fighting them is something that those who have survived won't ever forget. I mean, they're not wrong. Like the daggers we're using, also. Uh, Margir is an ancient Adaluk word meaning friends. To unleash the power of this weapon, one must trust in it completely and not use a shield. Yeah, as long as we get the weapon. These are the daggers that you normally start with. What classes are there? There's a warrior, cleric, and rogue. I picked a rogue this time for lighter armor. That's not a bad description. Flavor text. Yeah, the, okay, so here's the, the starter. The starter daggers that we had. Despite being just a pair of daggers, they can still be used in a lethal way, especially when dual wielding them. You can perform deadly strikes. So, because we're a rogue, they're kind of like, yeah, you, you should be dual wielding like, like this, because then you can um, chain attacks. Um, I really prefer... Yeah, there's only three classes, but... Um, it's a little bit how like Dark Souls works. Um, you start with a base class and then you can build it out the way that you want it to be from there. Um, there's three uh, different weight classes of armor. I picked Rogue because we start with light armor. So then I can be like, okay, well, I, I want to make the armor feel even lighter later. Um, Character development. The experience you earn for defeating enemies remains with you until you decide to store it or die. The more you carry, the higher rewards drop from far fallen foes, so it's like stacking humanity in Dark Souls. Uh, still, if you don't want to lose what you currently have, bank it in the save shards like this one. It prevents the loss upon death, but also resets your drop rate modifier, so it's a trade-off. Warrior in this hit case, so I can use this huge stick. Okay, so I have played a bit of this game and I started with a warrior because I'm like, warriors, they're tanky. Cool. Um, I don't know if you've been noticing like how we move. We're in light armor and compared to Dark Souls, we're at like a medium, almost fat roll in light armor. In light armor. 
<laughs> the biggest difference between this and Dark Souls is your dodging and moving around is much slower compared to Dark Souls. So I went for a lighter armor so that I could at least feel like I'm at a medium roll in Dark Souls. Storing the experience at Safe Shards gives you attribute and spell points. Either uh, Hold either left trigger to store experience points or right trigger to store it toward attributes. You can do it by opening the character development screen when close to a Safe Shard. Plus B. There we go. All right. So th this is your character development screen. Um, so you get the experience points, which you can hold on to. And where it says uh, spell points and attribute points, that's where you bank your experience. You have to split it between these two in order to level up and improve different things. Um, so I'm just gonna bank here for attribute points because um, I don't know. Hey, that sounds like a good name for a podcast. Let's do it. Wait. Which one? Hey, Squishy Flan. <sighs> I feel we are being spoiled by Dark Souls, right? Not a fan of a cleric unless I can make a glass cannon. I don't I don't think that you can make glass cannons uh, in this. Oh, that, that's my general stats. Um, and then uh, you like this is how you change what uh, what your focus is. I started with a deception. Uh, oh, we had to put points in faith to upgrade these. Oh, can I not? I can't do anything with these other two right now, but that's fine. And then they very clearly tell you what everything is for. It's pretty nice. Glass cannon. Oh, is it? Nice. No lizard. I mean wizard. Yeah, there's no wizards. There's just cleric. Um, but you do have access to magic, no matter what character you, you do. No wizard. Um... Uh... Um, maximum equipment burden. Okay, so that's what we need for straight. Agility is our main stat, though. Alright, let's put a point there. Let's do that. All right, and we leveled up. It's that easy. Oh. Pfft. Oh. Oh no, our friend is alone and wounded. Find him before it's too late. Okay, well first let me examine the room for goodies. Uh, we were in the middle of uh, shitting ourselves because of a boss. So we didn't really get to look around the room. I was kind of excited about Punchy Lizard being a podcast name. Trademarking it now. now go ahead and get the donate. Uh, the donate. The the don name. The domain. Save that po domain. I can fucking talk. I could talk, guys. I I can. It is true. Kozlo. All right. Kozlo. Kozlo. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, we we had encountered a Boston here, and our friend got pushed through this doorway, but the doorway is fucked up, so we have to go around. Oh, is there anything in here? No. God. Damn it. Mm. Oh, also, very similar to Dark Souls, 
if you rest at the the save points, everything respawns. Except for nothing respawned. Hang on. What? Hang on. <laughs> Video game, do not! Do not make me a liar. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Uh, yeah. This thing is active now. I want to see how much this is. Wait. You have four domains expiring in less than a year? <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know you had domains. Yeah, I know, but we're we're gonna make mistakes in here. Open. Also, there's these portals around that they don't really explain. I don't remember. Faithful disciple armor. We got another empty bottle. That's good news. What? What are you? It's a trinket. An acolyte, paraphernalia. It used to be common within the ancient group of northern friars. It is believed the amulet regenerated their spellcasting powers. Well, sure, let's equip it because we don't have anything in that slot. Uh, the runes are cool. We can't do anything with these runes yet. We're just going to collect. Oh, another box. Gimme. And then another box. Got a kite shield. And a shard. Oh, are you looking at Lords of the Fallen, Ambu? It's an okay game. I prefer Dark Souls over it. But it's an okay game. Like, I don't hate it. I want to give it another chance. Oh, right. Darkness is bad. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, you go out to the darkness and then you just start taking damage. Alright. There was just loot here. Yeah, just go ahead and snag it. I can get the game with extra content with... Yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad price. I would definitely recommend picking it up on sale. I, I would recommend picking it up on sale. Um, would I pay full price for this game? No. I may have. Uh, paid full price for the game. Oh, that was a lag spike there. Alright, I, I, I went into the portal and it was a mistake. Everything has respawned. Oh, you dropped loot. Give me your loot. Nerdy shard. It's like a potion ish. Alright, we're going to doodle the wheel of the daggers. And then just spam the buttons. It's on sale, that's why it's tempting, yeah. When we started recording for our first episode. Oh my god, I would listen. When are you guys recording? Branding. Green is green lizards. Oh my god. I'm still trying to figure out my branding. Oh! Hi! I forgot you existed. I, I do this a lot, guys. I forget that things exist. Oh! I think I prefer dual wielding the daggers. I think I do. Oh! Oh, he's back. Can I 
dash. Is dashing a thing I can do? Yes! We can dash! Right into this thing. Checkpoint activated. Alright. Bank all the experience, because... yeah. <sighs> this both pillows are behind us. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Please stop that. No, no, no. Please just kill it. Why was the targeting not working? Okay. Well, shit. the podcast. Alright. Let's go uh, back to where we were. All these dudes are alive again. Oh, they're not. Okay, cool. Never mind. They do respawn at particular moments, but I don't remember how the respawns work for this game. Oh, I stared up. Oh, he punched me in the face. Okay. Yeah, we have done done it. Wait, which way am I supposed to go? Uh Which way was I supposed to go again? Uh down here? Ah uh, Where did you come from? Why are you behind me? I don't- I don't like what the camera does sometimes. The camera is a little all over the place. I'm liking it. Split funds 2% to me and the rest to you. Post cost. Ah. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I- I kind of want to be able to do, uh, especially with Twin Nostalgia, is try and get it to the point where my sister and I can split profits. Cause she... <laughs> um, because she needs help with income as well. I heard this shard. Uh... Guys, how do I... Where am I... 5% for you, 5% to me. 20% for the lizard, lizard behind us. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you get like an editor. Oh. Editors are expensive, guys. Did you know that? I don't know where I'm going. I am officially lost. Officially. Wait, is there a door across the way? Am I... <laughs> Guys, I'm dumb. There's a fucking door here. <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh, let's just do this. Bank everything. Guess I'm the lizard. Everybody needs some help with income. It's true. It's true. It sucks, but it's true.
<laughs> it's canon now. Alright, we got seven health pots already. Alright, there's a door here. We we're going the wrong way. What? I didn't even get to read that because I'm like, oh, there's a fucking dude right here. I don't like the shaky cam. Who, who is, is anybody familiar with the game? Are there settings that I can do to make the um, shaky cam not as bad? I guess not. I got a hell of a lot of streamer work to do when my internet is back. I understand, Sam. I I don't know what most of that does. <laughs> I guess that's what that does. It, it does have a little bit of a shaky cam effect, which I'm not a huge fan of. It actually will... Like, if I play it for too long, too often, it will, uh, actually make me a little seasick. Uh, so that's not a good thing about the game. Soon after banishing the god, the three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. this thing. Alright. We can jump. <laughs> really? Come on. Did it. Give me whatever you are. Get, give me. I got a key. Guys, we got a key. Alright, there's a door here. Oh. Hi, friend. Right, I don't have this shield with this. I keep forgetting. We Why can't stand against there? such forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. A place with walls and soldiers. Mighty Antanas, we will be on our way. Please prepare for a few dozen refugees. Daggers are awesome. Daggers are awesome. Can't break these bags, it's fine. We had a tip to keep an eye on our surroundings. I have a stuff. Wrong button. Monk staff. It's an agility weapon. Monks usually choose staffs for defense because of the long range. With proper grip, it could also be used to hit fast in rapid succession. Well. Let's use that. Uh. 
Ja. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, re I remember. You can shield bash walls. You should... <laughs> I'm like, there's a thing for this. I, I remember it. Um, basically, to shield bash walls, you run and you hold up your shield. Well, bought the domain. <laughs> Looks like it's happening. Looks like this podcast is happening. I cannot wait. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we just fucking killed the shit out of me. We lost our experience. Hopefully we didn't have a, a good amount. All right, I, um, I learned. Okay, so here's what happens when you die when you have experience. You see the percentage thing going on there? We have until the percentage hits zero to go save our 345 souls. If we don't make it there in time, the, the experience disappears. It has a decay meter. Stop this awesome! Stuff is awesome. All right, let's see. There, there it is. All right, run right away. <laughs> we can't handle spiders. <laughs> what exactly were the lords? They wielded power beyond power. For fierce, they blindly followed the god. Anyone who tried to talk to them, reason with them. Failed. The lords did not come for discussion. Right, they came armor. to serve their purpose. To lead the Rogar army against the humans. Alright, so we officially have a whole s s two, three different sets of armor. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of different uh, trade off That's not what I wanted. There's a trade-off depending on the armor. So clearly you wear heavier armor, um, you are much slower. However, you're much more defended. Armor actually kind of matters, I have found in this game. Yeah, you, there's a time limit to get your experience points back. <laughs> Don't give me that power, I'm just a podcast host. Yeah, it can be. It can be. It's n you can normally get back to your experience in no time. It, it normally doesn't take you very long to, to get back there. Uh, but just like in Dark Souls, you have to pick it up before you die again. Yeah. I will look forward to uh, to this podcast, Tetra Pony. I will faithfully listen to it. Checkpoint activated. Uh, this button. Yeah, bank all of that. Thanks. Ooh. Hey, TT. <laughs> Less than three is hard. <laughs> oh, I understand. Hey, TT. Thank you for resubbing. <laughs> All the costume. All right, we are now in the outside world. Um, although I don't think we're ready to be here. I, um, hang on. How do I find the dude? 
Wait, we, we, we were running around trying to find the dude. Not putting it on. <laughs> uh, so you shouldn't make jokes about being the, being the lizard. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's like, but you started it, Elmo. How about this? I'll wear the lizard costume. Would you if it was a Kika Rumi? What's a Kika Rumi? Hang on. I miss it. It's fine. Um, okay. I need the dude. We need to find uh, uh, our friend. Everything will just is freezing. Okay, the game is freezing. That's not the stream, that's the game. Oh, he's alive. Oh, good. All right, game. What? What are? What are you doing, game? Why? Why are you choking? Uh. Turn shadows down. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> Fuck that. Why do I need so much shadow detail? Hmm, nope. What? Hang on. A what now? No, it, it... Sam. I'm just happy you're here, Sam. It's like a whole onesie costume with a zip. Oh my god, I'd wear it! Can I have a cat one, though? Alright, the game is still freezing. Oh, that's a backstab. Oh, that's badass. Video game, why are you choking? Um, please target this. It's the Punching Lizard podcast. Oh. Hey, I found a box. Good thing I came back. All right, it's the warrior armor. All right, what? Drop all the graphics down to medium. We were fine when we were in here before. It didn't save. What is this nonsense? Uh, I don't know what it. I know this one. And vertical sync. I don't know what any of these other things do. Alright. Save the changes. Okay. Se seems to be okay. Yeah, I know I need to save him, but I don't know how to get to him. Turn off vertical sync? Don't need it. Vertical sync is only to prevent uh, weapon terry or uh, weapon terry screen tearing, right? All right, it seems better. Initiation room. Okay, so he's on the other side of this door. I don't know how to get. I forget. How okay, maybe we do have to go outside and then go around. On Kozlo. Uh I do not want to take part of this one. Ambu Ambu is respectfully declining, guys. Let, let's not try and peer pressure Ambu into doing something he's, he doesn't actually want to do. 
Hey, if we, we could CG a picture of Ambu, no other console would use that. I, I, I don't, I don't think, uh... Ambu is actually really all that interesting to be a lizard. Oh, yeah, I get a Komodo dragon. I'm not coming out of the shadows. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm still humor I'm still very amused that we turned Sephiroth into Batman on the last Twin Soldier stream. <laughs> Okay, let's find Kozlo. All right, fill up the health potions. All right, we're still choking. The game is still choking a little bit. We're just stand here a moment. Nope. <laughs> what is happening? What, what, do I need this lighting? I missed it? Wait. I don't need this? Alright, we're turning it off. What is post-chroma shift? What is NVIDIA turbulence? <laughs> what is any of this stuff? <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like I need that either. Uh. Yeah, I, I feel like we have a whole bunch of stuff on that we don't need. Don't need it. It sounded like another lighting thing that we don't particularly have to have. Praise the sun! Ow. Ow! No! Please dodge. Don't you love video games that make you stand still to chug a potion? Take care, TT. Enjoy your shower. Please don't be plugged in when you uh, get in said shower. Alright, this is just a tree. I saw movement and I'm like, is that a dude? Also, interesting thing to note, we're outside. So we are now getting white spots on the camera from the snow. I thought that that was interesting. It's kind of annoying with the lighting right here. Why is the game choking so much? I don't remember this happening. All right. I pushed the roll button and nothing happened. Okay. Rip video game. Okay. Um, alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Advanced setting. Okay. Do I have to, like, turn everything off? I shouldn't have to. I don't. It, it might be because I'm also streaming it, but I didn't think it was that CPU heavy. So let's just turn everything down to low. Yes, apply the changes, thanks. Some of the changes won't take effect unless I restart the game. Maybe that's the problem. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Yeah, let, let's go save our progress. 
We have to manually save your progress, guys. It doesn't autosave. Checkpoint. Well, it might autosave, but it only respawns you back uh, to here. Alright, checkpoint activated. Alright, quit, quit, yep, quit. We're gonna we're gonna close and reopen the game. Exit game. <laughs> oh mouse. Come on, computer. You've got this. Do I have it? Unnecessary things open? Is that what's happening? Close this. Come on. Come on, you got you got this. Got to go. Have meetings to attend. You meetings. Oh. Wait a minute. Am I offline? My whole computer is choking, guys. Okay, no, we're here. Everything's here. We're we're here. Close that. What? What is with my computer? What is happening? All right. Play the video game. Too many processes, apparently. Uh, it could just be I need a new CPU. <laughs> I was hoping that I could just hold off on a CPU upgrade. Because I feel like if I'm going to change out my CPU, I need to do a real upgrade on the CPU. What browser do you use? Chrome. I use Chrome. It's normally not a problem, but um, it's apparently a problem today. Are you going to open the video game? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's just come to here while I try and get the video game open. Let's just be here. All right. Uh, that closed. Play. I clicked play. Nothing happened. Okay. We click play this time. Something happened. Things are happening. Again. Is it Friday yet, guys? I cannot wait for the, another episode of Twin Stalgia. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. Well, Chrome has a habit of making like 30 processes for one browser page and then not stopping them when you close the page. Yeah, this is true. That's totally true. Video game? Come on, video game. <laughs> We've done it! We've got the video game! <laughs> uh, to be fair, one process per one browser page. Make the page slow? It's just longer. Yeah, that's fair. Continue this file. Better be the right file. I didn't actually look at it. <laughs> this better be right. Oh, fuck. Many people prefer to hide behind a shield. Some may call them something. It's hard to drink a potion in battle. Positioning is everything. Make sure it's safe to consume it. Otherwise, you'll lose a potion. Yeah. You completely stand still when you, when you chug your potion. Um, any kind of movement will, um, cancel drinking the potion. Alright, good news. We have saved. Alright. Um... 
Let's see, we're at 5.9 of 25 on our equipment burden. How do I unequip? Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. It's not heavy enough for it to matter. Oh, right. Uh, when you get the DLC, you you get all of this stuff. What is this stuff? Uh, well, you get um, some free level up points, basically. Key to an unknown door. Makes you wonder how it did it end up here and what secret does it hold? And all the rusty key, the cellar small key. All right. All right. Th this appears to be better. Oh yeah, way better. This appears to be much better. No. <laughs> Disagree. All right, we fi we fixed it. We fixed it. Well, we got a we got he dropped his axe. No, our axe. Uh, would not hit your sword, man. I got a rune instead. That's fine. Oh, there it is. Switches and lovers. One of the things I do like about this game is um, there, there's some interesting puzzles that you end up finding. And I mean, they're very clearly a puzzle. Oh, I didn't flip the switch last time. I'm gonna fight this dude again. Oof. Alright, there, there's the other switch. I still don't remember how to get to Kozlo. We need to. We need to find him. Oh, hey, dude. There's a dude here. You. Help me. Please. What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You'll see the judges soon then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. Do we cut off his hand? What do you guys think? I feel like if we don't, he'll die. <laughs> Do we- do we want to- I mean, the guy is pretty much a monster. When did I get an axe? Why am I wear, wielding an axe? Could die by losing his hand. But yeah. Do we attempt to save him? Fuck it. Let's do it. All right. On your head be it. <laughs> well, that wasn't subtle. I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. 
You're not one of the monastics. Nope. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. I need here. to get inside the main building. I'm looking for Antanas. Antanas is in the citadel. But the gates had been sealed as soon as the Rogar started swarming in. It's now impossible to get inside. And even if you would, I don't know if you'd find anyone alive inside. The sky rained fire and something has crashed into the tower. I think the square of the judges is the only possible way to enter the citadel. If it hasn't been already destroyed, maybe you'll find a passage there. Maybe. You need someone to patch you up. Go be patched up. You won't hold long in this state. I am the healer monk here. And yes, I see the irony of the situation. You must have supplies. I do. They're in the laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it there in this condition. There, yeah, have a potion. Take this one. Be my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you open. Oh god. Okay. These guys aren't so bad. Found a box. What's in the box? Give me all the shiny. Ooh, hot blood. Hot blood armor. Slightly heavier. It has poison defense though. There's spiders. Do it. Alright, we're still we're still pretty dodgy. Where's the other half of the armor though? I've got a staff. Uh, I don't think I want to be here. Another dude. You get away from me. Your face mask is don't awesome. hurt me. I've no mind to take your life. You have my thanks. But understand your markings, your face. You frighten me. There are demons infesting the whole of this place. Flee if you wish to live. Everyone took refuge in the citadel. Antanas, our leader, gave oath that he would mark the way to the remaining entrance. But I can't follow the signs when the whole place is teemed by those monsters. I'm trapped. I'll keep an eye on the markings. Listen carefully. This trinket will help you discover Antanas' markings. There are three signs I know of. Please find them. Return to me as soon as you locate the signs Antanas left for us. If you help me, I'll give you something of interest in return. You know, modding here is really easy. I sit here and do nothing, and that's job done. Yeah. Yeah, but modding now? Nowadays, it's pretty damn easy. Uh, like you, especially with Nexus, you just download the mod, and that's all you have to do. Run it through a mod installer. Mod installer does all the work for you. Um, okay. So I remember this this uh, quest. 
Oh, modding this chat. We have good people in the chat. We've got good people in the chat. We, we have a collection of just some good eggs. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I remember Tachipoti. I, I never got into hardcore modding of anything because it was just... It was beyond my skills. Oh, you're not the one I want to target. Okay, it's fine. Ow! Ah! Fucking stop shooting me! Stop shooting me, you goddamn bastard. Okay, hi guys! Hi, I'm a happy person. I killed it. Everything's great. Everything's great. I killed it. I find it funny that you can hit the lanterns and then they wiggle. Oh, right. Um, we have to put this on to find the glowy things. I don't remember where they are. Oh! Hi, friend. Oh, we backstabbed him. Yeah, we, we normally don't get uh, too many bad things going on in the chat. Everything tends to be fine. Why are you all the way over there? Oh, give me. Give me your loot. Hey, a box. Heavy armor. It's fine. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, come on. I want to go back down that way, the fast way. Apparently we can't do that. Oh, it's broken. Ah. Yeah. Um, yeah, here. Did you, did you expect the creepy horse guy? Oh, the guy from earlier today? He wasn't that bad. Anybody here? Why did I talk to an empty room? Screen deflector shapes gets no. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do have a lot of uh, lights. Screen glare, and then the snow will ski screen. <laughs> they have a lot of interesting effects that I don't know if they thought it through. Ooh, special box. Medium armor. It's so medium. Hi, Mora. Yes, I love you. Could you please move your tail out of my face? Could you could you not rub up against the monitor and try and knock it off the table? I love you. Ninth night on watch. How could the Rokar get inside the sacred walls of Keystone? They appeared out of nowhere. The graveyard is swarming with them. I need to alert the others. 
locked. Welcome to prepare to find it locked. No, don't rub against the lamp. Get away! Oh, fuzzy creature. I love you. <laughs> now is not the best time. Now is not the best. Best time. Um... <laughs> In my experience, most cats will see you hold up a finger, finger and go, Oh, you're going to pet me! That's my experience with cats. That tends to be what happens. Um, where? Where are the other ones? Or I'm looking for markings on the wall. We found one. Run up these stairs. Okay. We're, we're looking for, for um, things that we can make glow. Oh. I found a thing! This is when the game starts to get a little weird. The gauntlet is a unique weapon. It uses magical energy for various ranged attack. attacks. Try experimenting with all three firing modes. Tip, it is definitely worth crafting it later. Okay, man. Uh... What do, you, what do you want me to do here? Um, excuse me. Excuse me, video game. Okay. It wanted me to push this one button. Explosive projectile blast. As if one wasn't enough. No. Ow! Stop it! <laughs> no! We didn't drink it fast enough. I forgot that the dude charges out, but we keep the gauntlet. Enough magic. Not enough ma. Oh, it's fine. We have a lot of uh stuff. Wow. Oh, there's a question. 
Alright, it doesn't affect my uh, equipment weight. The gauntlet is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I tend to not use it. What are you set to? Projectile. Because it's kind of slow. And if you are not prepared for like being able to do multiple blasts in a row, like if you don't have enough uh, magic built up, it becomes not as uh, cool or useful. Yeah, oh, can I help you? I love you. Uh, where's this guy? No, 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 stop that. She almost knocked over the microphone? Sorry. No, just kill it. No, no, no. Alright. Oh! Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Here, let me love you. Let me love you. What's the matter? You don't like being held? You don't like being held? Oh, that's, that's a problem for you. Oh no, that's a problem. For just the cat. She's like, maybe it's okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. <sighs> Mora, I love you. You're stressing me out. You're, you're, you're stressing me out. Uh, oh, um. There it is. Give me my experience. Mighty Antanas, my research is over. I dare to claim that this gauntlet does only one thing, but it does it rather well. It eats hatred like a hungry lion and spits it out like a dragon spits fire. Its bearer can wield it like a horrible weapon, but his soul must not be... Where is it? No. Oh. Where is what? Back this off. This doesn't concern you. I <laughs> love her. Whatever you want, you won't get an answer from a dead man. Seems it's your lucky day, altar boy. What was that about? They're liars, and worse besides, not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. The pathway? A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the book does not lie. Book never lies. Books don't lie. You sure People those do. flowers stole from you? I've always taken them for bookworms, not lifters. Don't be a fool. The men in here are just as twisted and corrupt as the people outside. I bet Antanas, this savior, allows it. They've bled the villagers dry over the years. They think people forget that the truth gets buried with the bodies they helped create. But they're wrong. I know what they did. This is a monastery. No women allowed. No criminals no. allowed either, but here you are. Oh, it gets to be an inquisition. Tell me about that constellation on your ugly face. Ah, uh, I thought not. Let's both keep our secrets. <laughs> oh, she's go. the best. Suit yourself. 
There, there's some really interesting, pretty badass characters. Our main character is not one of them. <laughs> In my opinion, he's not one of them. Alright, we have more attribute points. Let's go ahead and put another point in vitality because more health is important. All right. All right, there's another one. Ow! Right, it doesn't work like Dark Souls. You can't sidestep the step as easy. I wish it wasn't so shaky. Ooh! Gimme! Your rune! Gimme your rune! Mine now. Mighty Antanas, I've found traces of a Rogar Lord that was once known for his preoccupation with the physical form, and his shield being no less than a weaponry masterpiece. That's most peculiar, as I would never have suspected Rogar to care for it. No wonder he had the most dedicated the followers in all the battles he commanded. Do you mean for the gauntlet? Do you want me to use the gauntlet more? I'm not good at the gauntlet. It can do some pretty good things. Oh, hey, it's this. Ooh. We got a short sword. Short sword? Oh, it's not good for us. Ah. Uh... It scales okay. It scales better than our staff. It uses less energy and it's lighter. Oh, I see. Okay. Just use that. Oh, the wait for jump force. Ten more days. I can't wait. You've got it. You've got this. You've got this. You can make it. Oh, that is fire. Fire. I don't remember where the third sigil. <gasps> ah! I missed. Not kidding. I'm not good at it. Why am I still, uh, using the sh there? <laughs> so unsure if, if you want to get that. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm unsure about how I feel about it, too. Alright, shortcut. To a place. Wait, where is this? What what I pick up? We have a hammer called the pain. <laughs> we just picked up a hammer called pain. It's a faith weapon. Anyone who is hit with this club is left with a particular numb kind of feeling, as well as the unbearable physical pain. <laughs> The flavor text, guys, is great. It's just, it's great. That is, uh, definitely a cleric weapon. Oh, I know where I am. I, I know where I am. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, and then there's a downstairs here. And... 
into the spider. Oh, we're gonna die. <sighs> um, we're just gonna die. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck. Not enough magic! I got a pillar. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Is anybody curious what just happened? First of all, I'm poisoned. Second of all, it's the wrong button. Okay. Um, the large spiders lay eggs. He laid an egg. Oh, this is bad and creepy and bad and fucking creepy. Give me whatever this is we got. A great hammer called Spike. I hate everything about this area. Another passage. Hey, a door. We can open this door. Where does this go? That character creation on that game is insanely open. Wait, for which game? Oh, for Jump Force? Nice. Come on, man. I know you're alive. Okay, we can kick. I keep forgetting that kicking is an option, and I keep doing it by mistake. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, we're here and it was completely pointless for us to be there. There's an item. Kinda want it. Mine. It's a tower key. Does this go to the door that we were just at? I don't think I wanna go there yet. I don't wanna leave the area yet because we still have uh, things to do in the area. It makes sense, right? Right, maybe? Uh, perhaps? Unless it goes. Another door on this level? No. Quest item. A key opening the lower levels of the Keystone Towers. Okay. Use bank all the experience. All of it. Bank all of it. Uh, put more vitality. Hmm. A 
I'm still looking for these, uh, things. Scrap heroes. I remember a thing about this. We're, I, I'm not ready to do- uh, no. Not yet! I like this. Um, I want to find out if this is the key to the doorway that we just found and it went, it's locked. Nope. Okay. Cool. Hmm. There's a there's another sigil around here someplace. This room is so creepy. You know, the Lords of the Fallen feels like a cousin version of Dark Souls named Dark Souls 2. <laughs> kinda. Kinda. Um I mean, it is a souls like. But it's very definitely not a, a Dark Souls game. Whereas we had, um, Salt and Sanctuary, and they were very, ha, praise the salt, and, you know, all of that nonsense. They made it pretty obvious, uh, what their inspiration was. Oh, hi, you're, you, you exist. Um, shit. Could you please stop kicking? that game back in the dark. Yeah, unfortunately Dark Souls 2 was released and it's uh, here for with us forever. Um, I hear something. I don't see it. Alright, there's a door over here. Is this what the key goes to? Yep. Found it. Found what the key goes to. Oh no. Hey guys, remember that first boss that we did? There's another one. Except for this one isn't a boss. And he's already active. Okay, great. <sighs> well, it's because I found the key and then figured out where the key went. Uh, the first time I went through here, I didn't find this for a very long time. I think this is just a lesser warden. He, like, he's way smaller than the guy I fought. Please stop that. Okay. And this one has an axe. Oh no, I'm just mistaken. Everything's fine. This isn't one of those guys. It's just a rogar. He's like the similar to the guy that I initially fought. I, I love you. I love you, Mora. Please not right now. Not right now. I will cuddle you after stream. I promise. I promise. Give me this loot. Ooh, we got daggers. Ah. Uh does slightly less damage than this. It's much lighter. 
Human attempts to craft weapons as good as demonic ones have failed. Despite countless trials, they were just a shadow of Rhaegar's fine craftsmanship. Interesting. Well, let's try them out. Yeah, I know he's alone and wounded. I just, I can't, I don't know how to get there. <gasps> oh, hi. I don't know how the combos work, I'm just mash button mashing. And then sometimes something cool happens. Yeah, Kozlo is somewhere. You should be fine. Bleeding out somewhere. He's fine. All right. Ow. Fucking ow. You know what? I like my staff better. <laughs> because range. Let's say button mashing. Hey, it's Silly. Hey, Silly. We're, uh, attempting to not be bad at this game. It's not working. <gasps> we almost fell to our death. Hi. <laughs> you say button mashing, I say combos. I'm, I'm um, kind of doing combos. And Toast is here. All right, we have a, n a newer, better staff. Common folk were extremely prejudiced against people using magic. It might be the reason clerics started wearing masks long ago. I mean, that's fine. Use pain. Um, I don't think pain is actually the pain weapon is actually not good for us. Here's why. Um, it scales on faith. Uh, we have eight faith, which was the bare minimum of what we need to use that hammer. Uh, the stabs are agility weapons, so that's why I'm picking up the, the stabs. <gasps> There's a hole in the ground. I did not see it. Taking a shower was a shocking moment. Oh no! Yeah, I found a hole in the ground. Fuck. Oh god, where... Where was all of that? It was, it was this way. Well, we get to try out our new weapon. Ow. Ow. I got a stamina, it's fine. Everything's fine. Where Where was I going? What was I doing? What was where was I going? It was down here. We definitely do more damage. Okay. Done it. Why am I rushing? Because this 100% on the screen is um, my experience decay. It reaches 0%. All of the experience or souls <laughs> that I dropped will be gone. Oh. Please stop your bullshit. Why 
always hurt the burn. Thank you. No, you can just stay over there. Alright, there's the twinkle. Ah, I recovered my lost experience and found a dude. I can't see anything. Everything's great. All right. Did it? We took revenge. We made it. Blind running for the win. <laughs> there was something on that guy's face. It was brain. Oh, we have an axe called Fate. Some of the names for the items is great. All right, I know you're live. This is my sixth night on watch. The fires on the horizon have burnt out. An all-encompassing silence has fallen. Maybe the Rogar have retreated. I hope the villagers can return to their homes soon. Um... Okay, so we were just over there. Where does this go? Oh. This is the room with the evil spider. Okay, cool. Ah! That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's fine. Things fine. All right. Let's do some attempts on this. Fun facts. Watch out. There are some freaks on your side of the gate. Yeah, I know. Stop it. And then ah. Cutscene. targeting you. Hi, friend. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Ow! 
attack patterns. Ow! What can you put? Please stop being so good at turning. Stop hitting me in the face with your shield. Yes, the statues are glowing. Why? No idea. Beat up the commander! Don't remember. Also, these things are just about impossible to see. Here's what I do remember. This, uh... Quest for the sigils that you're supposed to look to, look for? I actually had to look it up. I had to look it up. They are not an intuitive design or path. Stand aside! I'm looking for a man named Kaslo. Wait! I know you. You're supposed to be in prison. Your crimes are well known. No. No, that's not Kaslo. Kaslo's in a red robe. It's been a long time, Captain. You're an animal. You belong in a cage. What business have you here amongst men of honor? Kaslo was a fool to let you out. I'm here to do my job. Wrong. My soldiers are here to do their jobs. You're here for yourself. For profit, I'll wager. You're only here oh, because there's something in it for you. Believe Found what it. you want. What's your back, Harkin? I have business in the Citadel. Maybe Caslo was roughed up enough times to trust you. But one look at you reminds me of what you are. I'm not letting you in. He's looking for the Rogar's incursion point into the old monastery. Go to the graveyard. You have enemies here, and they're not all Rogar. Now move, and steer well clear of me and my men. So, one of the things that bugs me about this game... The NPCs keep talking about... Uh, our crimes and how we're a horrible, terrible person. 
But nobody ever says what the crimes were. Just that they were bad enough that he has all of these tattoos all over his face. It's right here. Why, why can I not interact with it? Am I missing one? Did we eat a baby? I, I don't know. I guess. I guess we did. That would explain a lot, actually. Um. Uh, so. Where is the sigil? Also, you can interact with these statues. I don't remember what it does, but you can interact with it. Uh, you have a dagger. See the judge who has emerged from the shadows to stab a dar in the back. Ooh. What's the neutral balance of crimes and good deeds done after it? Which should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're we're playing a character who he's basically an anti-hero. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with him being an anti-hero. There's nothing wrong with being an anti-hero. The part that bugs me is that there's so little information about the character. Like, if you're gonna make a talk and have, like, a little bit of backstory, I need to know more about his backstory. I need to know. I went in there. Where is the, the the sigil? Where is it? We're wearing the thing that makes them glow, right? Yeah. So There's supposed to be three. There's a third one up here, but we can't interact with it. Can't do anything with it. I remember that this was annoying. <laughs> Um, I want to finish up this quest. Side quest. Okay. Bank all of the stuff. I don't know. We're in the village. Right full of ladies. Eat the babies. Punch all the dogs. Well, I've been <laughs> And then we save the city. That doesn't... That, I don't think that's how that works. Alright, so there, there's one here. Alright, and then... Ow. And then there's one here. So that's two. Could you please stop that? That's a good question. How many good days to balance that out? I feel like it's it's more of a matter of the severity of the things that you did. Like if it was to a certain level of bad, you'd probably never be able to balance. You know, without doing the whole heroic trope 
The self-sacrifice trope. See it up here? No, no, no! Spiders, no! He's over, he's over here. There were three signs left by Antanas. I only found two. Did you find them? Not all of them. I'll return if I find them all. Hmm. I don't remember where this last sign is. I just remember I had to look this up because it was annoying as fuck. Oh, no, I remember. I remember. I think I remember. It was obnoxious. There it is. How am I supposed to see that video game? Oh, he's on this side. There were three signs left. I found all of them. Let me show you. There were other refuge rooms. I don't think that anyone made it there. I pray for their souls, but they won't need their worldly goods anymore. This item will lead you there. Nice. Goodbye. May the judges save me from the demons. Oh, we are a little bit on overtime. What is this this thing that you want to give me? A compass. Don't believe people who claim that your mind deceives you. Trust your senses and as you and trust your senses as what you hear and feel will lead you toward the treasure. Great value. So basically, um, you equip this and then you will hear sounds. And probably have um some uh, rumble action. Why? Fucking balls! Please stop shooting me. Alright, use this. Run! Wait, did you drop thing? You dropped a thing! Give me your thing! We never picked up his loot. We have a fist weapon. We have two different. Oh snap. All right, we just picked up Arrowhead. We don't have an agility port. The blacksmith that crafted this weapon must have used among other among other comma, parts of some old used arrows. Too bad they can't be shot anymore. <laughs> but this is badass. Um, so you can't equip things that you don't have the stat requirement to do, to, to use. Like if you have less than the stat requirement you need, you can still use it, but you take a damage penalty. You take a damage penalty. And that's why it's so far down on the list. Uh, was there a thing up here? Okay, there's this thing up here. No, we'll we'll save we'll save the rest of this for later. Let's go back down to our save point. We'll probably play more of this tomorrow. 
See if I can make any sense of the storyline. Perhaps. Oh, she probably has a quest for me now, too. We will check some other time. That's fine. Possibly we need another conspiracy board to understand the lore. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we actually do, Tetra Pony. Um my my brief experience uh with it before um like oh there's this invading force and we need to defeat it. That was kind of the entire plot that I've gathered about it. Like, even Sultan Sanctuary had a little bit like more meat on the bones of the of the plot line. Like, it starts off, oh yeah, you need to escort this princess, and then shit starts to happen. <laughs> Like, I, I'm like, oh fuck, what's happening in this game? I have no idea. I thought I knew what was happening and I don't now. I didn't have that ever happen to me in Lords of the Fallen. Take care, TT. I hope you're, you're having a good day too. You get some good sleep. I know it, it's quite late for you. All the late. All right, let's figure out who to raid. Let's find a raiding victim. I mean, somebody to go hang out with. Let's see, who shall we go hang out with? Excuse me. You know what? We were talking about Skyrim earlier. Let's go hang out with Mass Emerald. She's playing, playing some Skyrims, some Scrims. She's wonderful and delightful. Thank you, everybody, for coming and joining with me today. Oh right, Let, let's cue the raid before we do our outro. Cue the raid. Cued. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope. I will see you guys tomorrow. I have cut the shit out of my finger and only just now noticed. Only just now. You guys, have a wonderful day.